Greetings YouTube, GDoc here. As we all know, winter is coming, and today we'll be trying to answer an essential question regarding your chances for winter survival. Should you be eating snow? Humans, and especially tiny humans known as children, have been eating snow since the dawn of time. Or at least the dawn of snow. It's white and yummy looking, tastes good, and to many children and some adults, is irresistible. The Romans used to send people into the mountains to gather snow to bring back and flavor it with fruits and juices, but the Romans also went extinct. So, should you be eating snow? Snow is frozen water. Actually, when snow forms, it's as pure as distilled water. Fresh, new snow is usually very clean and safe to eat. But just as it can get contaminated on the ground and turn sooty and black, it can get contaminated in the air. Snow falling in a highly polluted place isn't staying clean for very long. Using something called common sense, one can also deduce if snow is worth eating by how it looks. You can basically follow the traffic rules on this one. Red and yellow means don't go, but green means go ahead. Or maybe that was with slushies. No, okay, snow should be white. Different colors of snow are often caused by the growth of algae that are cryophilic, or cold-loving, that hang out in the snow and live off the sunlight. One algae, called Chlamydomonas nevalis, that contains both red and green pigments, is associated with red or green snow, sometimes called watermelon snow, supposedly because of its watermelon-like smell and watermelon-like taste. Algae can color the snow in other colors too, like blue, yellow, and brown. But yellow and brown snow, I'd be careful with that if you really had to eat colored snow, you know. There's actually been done a tiny study in Nevada, seeing if red snow could give you diarrhea. It's a really tiny study, just with seven people, but it's pretty funny, I think. They gave the placebo group half a kilo of snow, colored red, to eat, while the test group ate half a kilo of algae snow. They didn't find any difference, though, so the conclusion is, red snow is good for eating. As for the saying that snow contains parasites, parasites, or parasite eggs, are usually associated with what makes snow brown. So if you go for the white kind instead, you should be fine. To sum it all up, there aren't really big health concerns with eating clean-looking snow in not-so-polluted places. In white snow, most pollutants would usually be in really low concentrations anyway. Personally, if I need a color, I'd probably do it the Roman style instead of, you know, algae. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe for more content on medicine and science.